Thanks for joining us on episode four of Building a Bog Filter. In this episode, we will walk you through installing the filter media as well as planting the aquatic marginal plants into the bog. Based on the dimensions of our bog filter, we required around two thirds of a cubic yard of pea gravel as our base media. You can easily calculate what you need by multiplying your three dimensions in feet and divide by 27. To minimize the amount of particulate deposited into the pond, we decided it would be a good idea to thoroughly rinse off all of the pea gravel before adding it to the bog. Even though we thoroughly rinsed off the gravel, you can still see a fair amount of clouding of the water from the rock dust and debris. Once we filled the bog to the level of the drain pipe, we added in a small section of French drain. We made the French drain by cutting slots into the bottom half of the section of 1.5 inch Schedule 40 pipe, as you can see in this picture. Once the water in the bog gets to a certain level, the French drain allows the water to seep into the pipe and drain into the stream preventing the bog from overfilling. We added Schedule 40 tees in front of the section of French drain. This allows for a clean out should we ever need to remove roots or debris in the future. We 3D printed black cover caps to finish off the cleanouts and make them less noticeable and to keep the gravel and debris out of the pipe. We continued to add pea gravel until we reached the final grade level that we desired. With the filter media in place, we were ready to lay out and add our marginal aquatic plants. We chose a variety of hardy marginal aquatic plants that were rated for our climate zone, which is zone three. Make sure you choose aquatic plants that are rated for the zone where you live. Next we spent some time laying out the plants while they were still in their pots in order to get the most appealing arrangement. Selecting a variety of different heights and colors of plants will provide an interesting and appealing bog. Once we were happy with the overall arrangement, we removed the plants from their pots and rinsed off all the bedding material so that we were left with just bare roots. We then planted the bare root stalk into the pea gravel, making sure the roots were well below the water level. Be careful handling the bare root stalk, they are very fragile, and make sure that they don't dry out.
Once our plants were in their final position, we trimmed off the rest of the liner and our bog filter was complete. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the remainder of the series, where we jump forward to year two and begin the reconfiguration of the stream and the addition of a smaller catchment pond for the bog filter to drain into. In episode five, we remove the stream and regrade to give us a greater change in elevation and a more lively stream.